So since I've been talking about shows on Cartoon Network quite a lot recently, I decided to go back and have a look at some of the ones that I remember growing up. And well, somebody said in the comment section on my Clarence video to talk about Uncle Grandpa. Now I remember Uncle Grandpa premiered when I was like 14 years old and I was excited for it actually when it first was trailer to me I was really excited but then I watched it and I was really let down as a 14 year old I thought this show sucks and I never watched it again so now I'm 22 years old eight years later let's go back at Uncle Grandpa and see if it's any good and it's aged well you know since I'm a bit older So after a little bit of research, I've gone on the Uncle Grandpa forums as well as Reddit, etc, etc. And people seem to say that the episode called Hide and Seek is one of the best ones. So I thought, yeah, that'll do. Let's go for that one. So let's see what this episode's all about. So the beginning of the episode is pretty straightforward. We see some of the characters playing Hide and Seek. It turns out that the Green Lizard Man is called Mr. Gus. The Tiger is called Giant Realistic Flying Tiger. That, that's literally its name. And then we also see a guy called Pizza Steve who is stuck on the side of the face of Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa asks the guys what they're doing and they say they're playing hide and seek to which Uncle Grandpa then runs away crying so when they confront Uncle Grandpa and say what's the matter he then tells a story that he played hide and seek with his friend called Tony once and he couldn't find him and he's never found him so Tony's been like lost forever or something like that. So the guys think to help Uncle Grandpa they're going to make him play hide and seek with them to help him beat his fear of hide and seek. He has a fear of hide and seek. Christ. So Uncle Grandpa begins looking and well it's pretty much safe to say all the characters pick the same hiding spot. Mr. Gus, Pizza Steve, Giant Realistic Flying Tiger and Belly Bag I believe that bag is called. They all choose to hide under the lampshade. So Uncle Grandpa is now looking around everywhere to see where the guys are and he starts to panic because he's getting flashbacks obviously to the incident with his friend Tony and he thinks he doesn't want to lose these guys forever. So you get the point of what's happening. Uncle Grandpa can't find them and they say it won't take him that long. We then get a time card that says he's been looking for 875,000 minutes, which me being a nerd, I looked it up and turned out that's 607 days, which is a year and a half. So yeah, do with that what you want. Uncle Grandpa then actually manages to find the skeleton of his friend Tony, who is now like obviously dead, I guess, but he's alive as a skeleton. So Uncle Grandpa is obviously like frightened by this because, you know, Tony is angry that he couldn't be found. So Uncle Grandpa now runs away and hides in a lampshade with the rest of the guys. When Tony finally catches Uncle Grandpa, he's trying to get the rest of the guys, which then Uncle Grandpa says will prove how much you love hide and seek by hiding. So then Tony runs off and goes and hides again. But, uh, okay, that doesn't make sense, but let's just roll with it. So Uncle Grandpa then goes to count, which the other guys tell him to stop. They don't want to play hide and seek anymore. So that's the end of the game. We then see Uncle Grandpa and Belly Bag getting ready to drive the RV somewhere else, which they do loads of silly rules, like he puts a belt of a snake on he, and he starts eating gum from a gumball machine, which then takes them to space because he's blowing the bubbles all throughout the corridors. They end up in space. For, for some reason, this has absolutely nothing to do with anything. It's just there for the sake of it. it it's generally quite bad. So once they're in space, they need to find a way to get back, so then they eat chewing gum and then float their way back down to F and the episode ends. Generally, this this was terrible. This has not aged well at all. It didn't even age to begin with. It was crap from the start and it's still crap now. See, I like the characters in this show. The characters are interesting. Uncle Grandpa, Mr. Gus, Pizza Steve. They are pretty interesting, but I feel like this show just goes for lol, random, just for the sake of being random and crazy, and it just, there's no story there. Well, there's obviously a story, but it just, you get distracted so much by the crazy visuals. Like, this show is like, it's aimed for babies, you know, like the colours and stuff will make the babies watch the TV, not for anyone above the age of like two. It, it sucks, the show really does suck. I want it to like this show, I want to like it because I love Clarence. Clarence was great, and even so was Steven Universe, but this really, really was not good. Really not good, and I don't think I'll be coming back to this show at all. So that's the end of today's video. I just want to thank everybody for the Clarence video. It, I can't even keep up with the comments and the views. It's just going up and up and up and so are the subscribers. I'm now over 200 subscribers, which I saw this morning. And like at the time of editing, I've got another 20. The channel is growing so fast and I can't thank every one of you enough. So if you enjoyed, like and subscribe. There's going to be some movie videos coming out at the weekend because I have a bit more time to edit and stuff. So you can enjoy this for now and I'm going to make some more bigger videos at the weekend for you guys to enjoy. So if you like the videos that I make, you know, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.